All right, this better be quick. Come on, let's go. You got it, man. Peace stop. People faster, Guido. Come on, I gotta get back at that before he does. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Guido, come on, hurry up. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, you're good to go. Thanks, guys. All right, I'm going out. Bye. Seriously, Ray, again, thank you again for the pit. It really means a lot. Anytime, Storm. If you want to come in for the pits to get all, like, you know, fixed up or whatever, or get your tires changed and fueled up, just come anytime when you're ready before you continue racing. We'll always do that in no time. But, you know, it's what it is. <laughs> oh, looks like Champ's going. I gotta go by. <laughs> it looks like McQueen's out of the pits. And <laughs> he took the lead. Wow, what a pit stop for McQueen. <laughs> oh, my God, he just took the lead. I never thought he took the lead like that. But, Daryl, the question is, can he hold on to it? <laughs> Keep going. Go faster. Come on, McQueen. I know you can do it. Come on. Go faster. Go faster. Hey, McQueen, you all right? Oh, crap. It's you. Yep, that's right. It's me. Anyway, are you all right? Listen, don't you worry, pal. You had a good run. Enjoy your retirement. Wait, what? Yep, that's right. See you at the finish line, McQueen. Yeah, that probably goes for you, too. Wait, no, 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 no. Storm finally takes back the lead. Unbelievable. McQueen is fading. But no, 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 no. McQueen is fading. <laughs> Faded fast. No, come on. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> no, come on. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on. Come on. No. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 Lightning? Okay, speak lightning, speak. But I know you're awake. Wow. I gotta tell this to Uncle Strip. <laughs> Are you good? Thank you, Pity, thank you. Uncle! What, Cal? Uncle, Uncle. What do you want? Quit your yapping. Uh, have you seen the news? About McQueen's crash? Yeah, but wait a minute. How do you know about that? Of course I know everything about crashes. If I've been in one myself, I wouldn't want any other racer to get in one as well. It's a shame what happened to poor Lightning, but think about it. I didn't get an ambulance or nothing when I crashed. what I get? I got McQueen pushing me to the finish line. Yeah, but that was nice of him, wasn't it? Yeah, and I appreciated him for that. But the thing is, why, why, oh why, there was no ambulance or anything at the scene of my crash. Uh, Uncle, I think I need a tire change. I already got a tire change. I'm going to go for a lap or two. Feeling pretty frustrated today. Ah! Hey guys, what is up? It's Smurfstorm and Roger Growling 2011 here, and this time I'm going to be reviewing my custom Crash slash Race Damage Lightning McQueen, which you may know from Cars 3, the iconic Lightning McQueen from Cars 3. Now, before I start the review, I do technically want to make some polls of what review you want me to do next, such as the review of Jim Reverick, who I did get last year. 
along flipped over. Ted Gearsworth or Rev and Go Racer, whatever you like to call him. Sorry, call him. My bad. And then Bruce Miller, which I did get recently. But today I want to focus on race damage, McQueen. But um, for the reviews of the polls, I'll make that in the future in the community post so I can make sure you guys understand it. So I have not just made this custom uh, because I apparently made this custom back in like mid-2017 or 2018. Um, but I love how the spoiler looks on this car. And not just this happened. I also made a custom race damage Ed trunk in here, which I know is not in the movie, but I wanted to make a custom. And another, oh, excuse me, <laughs> sorry. And I made another one, which uh, looks like the one from the 2016 teaser trailer. Um, so there's some pretty much details of what I want to do with these customs. So uh, I want to focus on race damage McQueen. So let's go ahead and take a look. And I know, I know, this doesn't look like the actual one from the movie. Kind of like the other one right here, which I'll bring out. See, look, look, look at that, I understand that completely. Um, eventually, I'll have another one like that. But I just want to focus on this one. So, love the details on this car, like the Rust Youth logo and everything. How I did this, this is how I made this from a Cars 3 McQueen. And I painted it all red and made it look like the actual Rusty's McQueen from the movie. And, um, wow, we did a good job on the spoiler. We actually trimmed the spoiler off, and uh, we made a little spot right there with the glue. And my uncle actually cut the spoiler off so we can make this beautiful custom. And I was very impressed with him. Thank you to my uncle for doing that. And I painted this tire red because uh, McQueen's tire does pop in the movie. If you don't really remember, he lost control in Los Angeles 500. And I made the line for his eyes, like, shut because his eyes were closed when he had a crash. Because I'm pretty sure he was knocked out or something, which was insane. And, yeah, I know. I know. The scratches don't look similar. I know they don't really look the same as the actual one from the movie. But it's just how my custom was. And, unfortunately, I didn't start to say that. Uh, speaking of race damage, I do have a race damage shoot to the rookie, which, unfortunately, I can't look for it right now. Uh, it's another custom I made, but I don't know where it is. So, I'll look for it again eventually. I'll show that in another review, but, uh, yeah, I mean, this custom is just fabulous. I love how I made this. Um, so that's, this is my custom race damage Lightning McQueen from Cars 3. Now, I know there's other race damage cars as well, like Race Damage the King, which I do not have, unfortunately. And I know that Rod Redline is not a race car, of course, but there is a damaged Rod Redline from Cars 2 if you want to take a look at what the car looks like. Because after he gets beaten up by the lemons in the bathroom, literally he is damaged in the movie. And I did not know they had to make a damaged version of him. There's also race damage boot springs, which is Chuck Armstrong. But unfortunately, due to how expensive the car is on eBay, I cannot get it. So that's why I made race damage Ed Trunken. Which was also known as a next gen race damage mood springs. Which uh, very much looks similar. So I think that brings us to the review of McQueen. But one more thing before I talk about in the review. I love how I did the spoiler. Because McQueen's spoiler was hanging off. Uh, his spoiler was not fully on. As you take a look from the regular version. Like his spoiler. I don't know how his spoiler got like that. But I didn't know his spoiler was flying in the air. And his tire popped. That was just crazy. But you know. It, it's what it is with McQueen's like that. And anyway, that is it with the review of Race Damage Lightning McQueen. And I'll bring in Ed Trunken and the other one from the 2016 teaser trailer of Cars 3. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully, I can do the other reviews eventually and do all that jazz, whatever. And anyway, this is Smurf Storm and Raw Talk Redline 2011 saying, Peace!